Hi, I want to preface this video with an apology. The camera angle I know is absolutely dreadful. I had set it up and I swear it wasn't that bad when I set it up, but that's the joys of, of trying to do things on your own. Sorry. Hello and welcome back to Travelling Box with Tanya, that's me. Um, today's video is going to be a little bit different. Um, I'm not in a caravan for one, I'm having a really, really boring afternoon. Uh, well, doing business accounts, personal accounts, cash flow forecasts and all of that stuff I absolutely detest doing and always put off. Um, so this is another example of me putting it off. <laughs> And procrastinating and uh, getting slightly uh, diverted from the plan but I thought it might be interesting um, for, for myself and for you guys for me to put all of the caravan costings together and work out exactly um, what caravanning costs um, or at least what it's cost me um, to work out viability and exactly what is needed um, when you embark on, on the caravanning adventure and obviously the the costs are going to vary from person to person we all have different budgets um different requirements um but if i start with the essentials of course the most important bit of kit and and potentially your biggest expense is of course the caravan itself um mine wasn't too bad i did have a budget and i stuck to it rigidly um and my budget was two thousand pounds and that's exactly what i paid to the penny for frankie um and i i knew i'd done a lot of research into to what i wanted for that money um and i and i got everything that i wanted of course you can spend less um there are lots of caravans that go for, for a lot less money and you can spend a fortune and there are an awful lot of caravans that go for an awful lot more money so it's entirely up to you um what your budget is and and what you want to buy for your money um but i'm entirely happy with what i got for my two thousand pounds with frankie um then of course once you've got your caravan you want to insure it now i insured mine through the um, caravan and camping club or was it camping and caravanning club one of them um 65 pounds 41 was what i spent on insurance um which i didn't think was too bad i was was all right with that that's got european um cover on it as well not that i'm going to need that this year as i don't plan on going to europe just yet i will but not just yet but yeah 65 pounds 41 for the year um i was quite happy with that um, then there's all of the, the things that you absolutely need um, to get the caravan working. Um, so the first thing I bought was a leisure battery. And I bought a 130 amp hour battery. Um, I was looking anywhere between 100 and 130. And the, the 130 amp hour battery actually was less um, than the 120. So I thought, okay, I'll go for that one. And I think I got a bargain at £84.95 for a brand new 130 amp hour battery, um, which, well, I've only been out on her once, but she, she did great and she's staying healthy. Um, then I bought a wheel clamp. Security was massively on my mind when I bought Frankie. Um, and it's also um, a significant caveat on the, the insurance that you have security measures in place, including a wheel clamp and a hitch lock. So my wheel clamp was quite a good price, actually. It was £17.99. I was a bit disappointed because I did already have a really heavy duty wheel clamp for my trailer. But it didn't fit which was vastly annoying um a toolkit um funny little things I've, I've already got a plethora of tools at home because i i do a lot of diy and, and repairs um but i wanted a separate toolkit specifically for frankie um tools that weren't going to see an awful lot of use but i would need should something happen on site um and i needed to do a bit of repair work most of my tools I bought from Poundland, including the toolbox, um, which was awesome. Uh, screwdrivers, a hammer, uh, all different little things. Um, and in total, I paid £23 in tools. I think my most expensive tool um, 
was my, my gas spanner, which was over a pound. Um, so yeah, I, I feel like I did well there and I've pretty much got everything that I think I'm going to need. Um, but maybe that's that's a discussion for another video at another point. Um, a waste master. Okay, these things are actually more expensive than I thought, but a waste master is essential and that is the big rolling container that you put next to your caravan and connect waste pipes to for all of your wastewater from your shower, your sinks, um, to obviously go into. We don't have a drainage system, a sewage system in a caravan that you would at home, so you need a container for your wastewater to go into. So that was the Waste Master and that was £54. Um, the next thing was a water hog. Um, or an aqua roll, um, either way, you need water in your caravan um, to run the, the taps and your showers and, and, and whatnot that I, that I just mentioned. Uh, so for that, you need a water source. And I purchased a water hog rather than an aqua roll because it was cheaper. Um, and it was also bigger, 51 litres. I think I've said before, I'm not sure if I made the right choice in going bigger. Um, but I definitely made the right choice in budget and the water hog was £45. Electric hookup lead, um, yeah, definitely one of those um, if you are not going off grid. Um, and certainly when I'm parked up on the driveway and I want to be able to, to connect the, the battery to, to the mains to keep the battery healthy and um, then yeah, so but that wasn't too bad. The electric hookup lead I got for twenty-seven pounds, and I bought a twenty-five meter lead, which I figure should be long enough for most eventualities. Any longer than that, then hmm, I'm in the wrong place. Um, pink and blue, I've put down here. That's the the cassette toilet liquids, and um, blue certainly is essential, um, as that I've found out really disguises smell beautifully and it breaks down your toilet waste um, whether you're doing a number one or a number two it works brilliantly um, the pink I'm undecided on I've got some um, I don't know whether it's necessary or not some people say it absolutely is other people say it's it's good for giving a little bit of extra fresh smell to the rinse water I don't know if it's worth paying the money for that um, but over over time, I'll I'll suss that out for myself. But either way, a twin pack of the pink and blue toilet fluids was fifteen pounds thirty, so it's not cheap. Um, the hitch lock. I wanted a really good one. I paid forty six pounds ninety nine, and it had to be a specific hitch lock um, for my Alco hitch that I have on my caravan. So be careful. Don't just buy any hitch lock. It needs to be one that fits your hitch. A whale pump. I hadn't considered how you get the water from the water container into your caravan until I bought the caravan and then realised actually I needed a pump um, and I had to, to find out, investigate which pump I needed and it was a specific um, whale pump that I bought and that came to £41.99 which I thought was a really lot of money um, but hey ho, um, I have it now and it does work brilliantly so uh, no complaints there um, a waste hose cheapest tips and um, you can make your own really I didn't I bought a waste hose for £3.99 and that's just literally two hoses that fit into your, your waste drains um, and then go straight into your um, waste master so it's you know people make their own I bought it £3.99 I didn't see the, the sense in, in buying anything different. Um, wheel chocks. Um, I bought specific wheel chocks for, for when Frankie is on my driveway and they were only £3.99 but just a little bit of extra um, stability while she's on there so there's no chance for rolling out onto the road into my neighbours. Gas bottle. Um, if you'll see from my previous videos, my, you know, issues around buying gas. Um, I started from scratch. I bought uh, a 6 kg propane gas bottle and all that entails and that was £53 um, to start from scratch. 
it would be a lot cheaper in future when it's simply a matter of exchanging the gas bottles. I think that would be about 24, 25 pounds, something around that. But I don't know how long gas is going to last me yet. So that's an unknown ongoing expense, but certainly won't be 53 pounds again. No, it will actually, because I want to buy a second gas bottle. Ignore me, I'm waffling. Um, yeah, levelers and chalk. Um, I bought a, a Malenko, um, I think it's a Malenko one, either way it's, it's a nice levelling ramp with a chock that, that fits in behind your wheel to keep your wheel stable and you do need levellers when you're on site um, to make sure that um, your, your caravan is level, not just for your own comfort because nobody wants to fall off their beds when they're sleeping at night, but also um, to make sure your fridge works um, your, your gas is aligned and, and things like that so yeah um, that that's that's quite important um, other essentials um, that aren't on my cost list but should be considered and they're not on my cost list because I was either given them or I already had them towing mirrors now they can range in price anything from I don't know 12 pounds I've seen them for up to 60 or 80 pounds um, I've got a really good set of Milenko towing mirrors um, that are really really good and they were given to me so I'm ever so grateful for those um, I had bought a really cheap set from from Halfords just to tide me over and then I was given these and they are worlds apart they really are so I'm well chuffed with those but yeah towing mirrors are vital and a legal requirement a fire extinguisher I already had one in the caravan and I've, I've had my firefighter uncle check it over and it's all good and safe and everything else. Um, but I've seen the same um, fire extinguisher for sale um, at shows for £15. So they're not expensive. And for me, um, safety in the caravan, especially when we've got gas and we're cooking flames in a very small space. Um, the fire extinguisher is absolutely vital. And then of course, so at that end are smoke alarms and carbon monoxide detectors. And I was really lucky because again, I've been given really good ones of those. Um, so the kindness of people is, is amazing, but those are our costs that you need to consider. So that's the essentials. And from my essentials list, I added it all up and that lot took me up to £2,499.55. So £2,500 for the essentials. But it's not just the essentials that you have, um, there's everything else and this was the fun bit. I mean, the essentials get you on the road um, and make sure your caravan runs. But then there's other things that you want to do and certainly I did to make it home. Um, and so I spent a fiver on a, a wall picture, <laughs> which I absolutely love this picture. So that was five pounds I spent. Um, I also bought some wood glue and screws and nuts and bolts and things just to, to make minor repairs on Franklin Jubilee clips and, and things like that. Some of the repairs you'll have seen on, on previous videos. But all in all, £17 I spent on those little sundries. Um, awning zip, awning and zip lubricant I bought. Um, and shop around for that because it's various prices, but really, really handy stuff, which I didn't know about until someone recommended it to my uncle who then recommended it to me. And as a lubricant, I've used it on the rail for my internal um, bedroom door to slide across smoothly. And boy, does it work brilliantly. And it was only five pounds. Apparently it really is excellent for putting in the awning around rail around the caravan to help with uh, the putting on of awnings. Not tried it for that yet, I've not even put my awning up yet, but yeah, I'm looking forward to using it, but fiver, worth having. Um, I also bought a mains adapter so that I could connect my electric hookup lead to my house um, mains electricity so that I can constantly um, pop on a lead and, and charge up the battery and, and keep things healthy. That was only six pounds, not bad at all. Pure Clean, again, if you'll have seen my previous video on um, sterilizing the water system, I think this stuff is vital, but I know I overpaid. I paid five pounds for my little pot of Pure Clean and I've since found it the same price for a much bigger 
pot so again shop around for that um, and then stuff that not everybody wants or needs but I certainly did um, I bought a lovely low voltage kettle um, and it's a very pretty kettle that I absolutely love um, and I paid £19.99 for that kettle um, my toaster again a low voltage toaster I'm not a fan of, of putting toast under a grill never have got that right but a toaster I can get by it so £24.99 I paid for my toaster dinner set again um, some people like to take their their dinner services from home and not have the added expense I don't I like to have everything separate in Frankie and I paid £24.95 for a really lovely melamine dinner service and again not everybody likes melamine I do actually I would have it at home <laughs> um, if I could uh, and, but I've got a magnificent dinner service at home that my nan gifted me but my son, being the clumsy oaf that he is, and with outdoor eating and everything else, I wanted melamine. Oh, hi, Perry. Can you move away from the camera, love? Come here. Um, I don't know how much you can see of my cat, but he's there investigating the camera. Come here, sweetheart. Oh, come here. You've just woken up, have you? Mm. But yeah, my dinner set was £24.95 and I love it. Um, nose gauge. Um, not everybody agrees that you need a nose gauge. I do because I, I'm just obsessed with safety. Um, and they, they range in price. I didn't buy an expensive one. I bought one that would just give me a, a good idea, not an exact amount. Um, so my nose gauge was only £6.99, but I've tried it and it worked really, really well. So I'm, I'm well happy with that. Um, a hitch cover, um, just because I want it, I've got a, a new hitch on Frankie and I wanted um, to protect it and preserve the, the colouring of it and not get um, sun damage. So my hitch cover, I didn't buy an expensive one, £6.99, I may change that in the future, um, but for now that does nicely. Um, saucepans and things like that um, for cooking in your caravan. I went to Ikea and bought most of my, my things from Ikea. Um, and I got lovely frying pans, saucepans and things. I did already have some from camping, but I wanted new. Um, so I spent £38.25 on my, my cookware, my saucepans and whatnot. Um, oh, and a chopping block. Oh, yeah, I went a bit mad in Ikea. But you, you can go mad in Ikea and not spend a fortune. Um, seat covers. So that by that I mean all the fabric and the... the cotton and things that are used to make my seat covers um, all of that fabric costs 40 pounds and 40 pence um, so I don't think that was too bad curtain fabric um, was probably the biggest expense on this list um, but worth it to me and again not an expense that's that's an essential at all but purely down to personal taste and preference and I spent 72 pounds on the fabric there and I actually bought way too much fabric I've got loads left over so I'm wondering what else to do with it I could have spent way less and still done as much um, then I blew some money on some pretty cushions just to make it friendly and cozy and comfortable. I spent £26.99 on cushions just for the hell of it. Um, then things that um, I needed for my pets, so dog bowls, um, a cat litter tray, uh, different things and I also had, um, you know, I've got specific dog leads and, and dog safety things for camping, but I spent £18.99 just on a litter tray, which is a covered one for my cat. Um, again, if you're not taking a cat camping, you wouldn't need it, but I did. My awning, I feel like I got a massive bargain with my awning. I bought a Sun Camp Deluxe uh, porch awning, I think it's 261. Um, and I paid £109 for that and I bought that at the Caravan and Motorhome show uh, last month um, and it was the last one there on the Sunday evening um, and I paid £109 and I was really really chuffed bits with that um, and I can't wait to use it, I haven't used it yet because well there hasn't been 
point really for a weekend in rain uh, but yeah I'm so looking forward to that in the summer I didn't want a fall awning I just wanted a porch awning and that's what I've got um, but again awnings vary in price um, I think I've paid like the least you can pay to thousands of pounds on an awning so that's a cost consideration for within someone's needs desires wants and budget and can vary hugely um, I bought a bin my caravan didn't have a bin and I really wanted a bin but that was only £10 and I bought two throws um, they were £5 each from B&M just to snuggle up in of an evening and also to protect my covers that protect my seats so I've got three layers of protection <laughs> on my seats having spent so much time making my seat covers I wanted to cover them to, to protect them from dogs mucky feet uh, last weekend when it was so rainy and disgusting and muddy um, but it worked a treat and they wash up really well and they were only a fiver so I was well happy with those there are things that I still need to buy um, I need a caravan skirt um, which is a little skirt thing that, that goes on the bottom of your caravan um, in your awning area so that you've got an enclosed space there which is a bit of extra security when you've got dogs um, and keeps you know wind out and, and breezes. I would like a caravan roof cover. Um, I'm not sure yet how I'm going to go. Um, unfortunately my driveway is tree lined I'm, I'm really considering chopping down all of the trees, um, which wouldn't be anywhere near as pretty as it is currently, but would certainly save my caravan an awful lot. Um, so I either do that or I get a roof cover. Not don't really want a full cover on my caravan because I do want to be able to access it easily. Um, but I'm looking at roof covers and I've seen them for around about £100 upwards, depending on the quality and where you buy them from. Um, solar panels, I really want to get um, into off-grid caravanning and solar panels, uh, I've, oh, my brain is all over the place deciding the pros and cons of roof mounted, portable, suitcase style, um, how many watts to get and the cost of course varies hugely on, on how you approach the solar panels um, and if you watch my, my interview with Merv Gaskin um, last month he was talking about solar array and, and you know bigger is better and always is isn't it uh yeah so i'm vastly debating that but that's on my future uh, budget um and we're looking at a good few hundred pounds there and as i said previously i want a second gas bottle as well so i've always got one in reserve don't like running out of things never have done um so yeah in total the amount that I have spent so far, and I was in my budget, um, of everything that I paid for from the last screw was £2,930.54. Um, so I was in, within my £3,000 budget, go me, um, with some very careful shopping. Um, I do believe this hobby is one that will grow with you. And, and certainly um, it's, it's one that you can evolve and, and buy forever. Um, different things that you want and need and discover along the way. And, and, and until you've been um, out a few times in your caravan, you've figured out exactly what you need um, and what you want and how you live in your camping. Um, I guess I'm, I'm, I've taken a lot of my experience with tent camping and how we live when we're on holidays and in camping grounds as to, to how I've fitted Frankie out and, and the things that I've bought. Um, of course, there are other things that you will want to buy as well. Uh, bedding, um, it's pretty cosy to have a nice duvet of an evening. Um, outdoor seating, so deck chairs or, or whatever you have. These are things that I already had from my camping days. Um, I already have um, electric fan heaters, oil filled radiators for those evenings that are a bit chilly but you might want to sit in the awning. Um, or if you've got an electric hook up and you don't want to use your gas, they're good for that. Um, so different ways of living um, and everyone has their own wants and needs and desires and their own lifestyle when they're camping and we have ours certainly. 
yeah, um, I already had cutlery. I already had um, glasses and, and things like that. So it's work within your budget, you can, depending on what your budget is and, and how you live, but it certainly doesn't have to be expensive if you don't want to be. Sure, I'm certain that in years going forward, there will be repairs to make, there will be extra costs that I have to put in, you know, there will be new tires required, uh, things that, that go a bit wrong and I have to fix them. I'll probably need a new leisure battery at some point. I might want to put in some 12 volt uh, sockets. I'm pretty sure I will want to do those. So ongoing costs, but they're not massive, they're not significant and they're not vital at the start. You can do those as and when you go on. Um, another cost that people may want to consider is that of storage doesn't really apply to me because I keep mine on my property. Um, other people won't have that luxury of being able to keep their caravans with them all the time. I will need to consider the cost of caravan storage facilities. They range in price. I think the average is about £10 a week. Don't quote me on that. Um, but certainly one that I investigated locally was £10 a week and that was a high secure uh, 24 hour surveillance place which looked lovely. Um, but that's £520 a year, which is another uh, cost consideration. And then, of course, you've got your holidays to pay for. Um, working out on my experiences with, with camping so far, and then looking at um, club brochures, because I'm a member of the Caravan and Camping Club, and the Caravan and Motorhome Club, both of them I'm members of, because then I've got twice as many uh, sites to pick from wherever I want to go in the country and the nightly charges for members are greatly reduced. I think I was looking yesterday, the Caravan and Motorhome Club is £12 per night cheaper for members. So that for me, because we'll be going away a lot, is definitely, definitely worth being a member. Um, you only need four or five nights, you've paid for your subscription, no problem at all. And you've got a vast choice of camp sites, campgrounds, you don't have to be a member of these clubs, you can only be a member of one of your choosing, um, but certainly I am a member of both and, and appreciate both varieties of club. Um, but the average campsite works out to about £20 a night, give or take, depending on where you go and the time of year. Um, so the holidays don't need to be expensive. Once you have your initial costs, which is again can be as, as much or as little as you want to pay, um, then it's just the individual holiday costs. And certainly if, you, if you're off grid, you can spend five pounds a night on a campsite um, and be perfectly happy. Um, if you're on grid, you're gonna pay for electric hookup requirements. Um, and you know, again, depends where you want to go and the facilities that you want. Oh, Perry. I know, I'm talking, not to you, don't care, yes, anyway, I am waffling, um, but the costs, going back to that, it, it can be as much or as little as your budget allows, and at the end of the day, whether you spend £23,000 on a caravan, £2,000 on a caravan, our holidays are the same, we're going to the same locations, we're seeing the same things, and our experiences are the same according to what we want to do. So the choice is yours. Um, a little bit of extra luxury in finish on the interior or a bit of a homemade job on the curtains. Uh, that's entirely personal preference, uh, but the holidays are yours and that's what I like about it.